Welcome back to another installment of Retrospects. I'm your host, DJ Airwax, and today I would like to showcase the Stanton SA12 Craze Signature Battle Mixer. In the light of the Cubert and Craze beef, it was only right that I bring this in after going over the ISP Edition Vestax Mixer. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I put the link in the description below. The Stanton SA12 Mixer from the Stanton lineup featured an aggressively low price point of $5.99 when it debuted. To give you some perspective, this mixer came out at a time where numerous companies were creating two-channel battle-style mixers and professional options went well above $1,000. One of the most notable and innovative features for the SA12 was its removable effects board module. The standard board includes pitch shifter, flanger, delay controls, and replacement boards offering additional effects were promised later on. This mixer also offered a powerful EQ control as well as adjustable fader curves. Stanton's flagship battle mixer offered many great features not offered by any other mixer in its price class. The most important of the features on the SA12 were the custom Penny and Giles faders, which are known for the great performance, smooth feel, and durability. So guys, I've had this mixer since it was brand new. It's over 20 years old. My biggest gripe about this mixer were the fader stems. They were just prone to breaking. I scratched with them and they were just so easily broken off. As you could tell, right here, we have a fader missing. What I love about this mixer is the fact that it had onboard effects. At the time, the only way that you could get onboard effects was with a DJM 500, but the mixer was a lot bigger and it was in the best faders for scratching. Hey, this is DJ Earwax. Thank you for checking out this edition of Retrospects. I'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>